Hello again, uh, it's Gothic Lord here again. And for this review, looking at the uh, Vision Vivinova, uh, the STV. Uh, really, the only difference between the STV and the standard is the nice little casing around there, a little display window, as opposed to all either being a clear case or a solid case. Uh, this actually costs uh, £10.95. Uh, from vaporscape.co.uk. Uh, it's pretty standard for a uh, Vivinova. See through the window there, you've got standard setup. It's, you get the standard thing with it uh, 2.4 ohm head, 2.8 ohm head, 1.8 ohm head, uh, standard 510 connection. Um, Really, I mean, no, this is something I've been using a while now, but this one slightly, slightly different in the fact that it's, it's, well, I mean, it's the, the whole thing of having a covered tank with the little clear window. I mean, this, I don't know, aesthetically, I, I kind of like it. Uh, as a vape. I say 1.8 head. I'm running on the SID at six watts. Uh, so yeah, I mean, plenty of vapor coming off of it. The liquid in it is a tea juice, 16 milligram strawberry. Uh, absolutely lovely flavour to it. Yeah, I mean, lovely little bit of kit, well worth the money. Uh, to be fair, I mean, uh, Vivinova's pretty much become a standard part of most uh, vaping kits these days. I think pretty much everybody has at least one. Uh, I've got on two, I've got two Mini Novas, a uh, sort of fakey V6 uh, Vision Nova. Oh, and uh, this little thing, and really, it's, it's much the same as any other Nova. The, the only thing I have noticed, and a lot of people said to me about Vivinovas having issues with wicking, and at the time, there was me sitting there puffing away on my two mini Novas, thinking, well, what are they on about? Uh, no, I see. Uh, you get down to about half a tank and you do have to sort of sit there and swirl it around a bit and get the liquid onto the wicks. Uh, whereas with the little minis, you didn't have to because the wick was pretty much pressed against the inner edge of the, the casing. Uh, so I didn't really notice it with the minis. That is one place where it does come above and beyond. Uh, it, other than that, I mean, it is a good device. I mean, maybe Vision could look into doing what everybody else is doing and looking at uh, sort of having the atomizer at the bottom. Uh, just a thought. But I mean, really, I bought it because I know and trust the neighbors. Uh, thought it would look no nice on the SID, which it does. Uh, and yeah, I get the performance out of it, I expect. But I mean, the, the, the only other thing I would possibly improve is actually having metal cases rather than this uh, rubberized casing on it. So then it really would look the part with this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it is a lovely bit of kit. I do recommend them to, to anybody. I mean, really, the, the vapor flavor is immensely brilliant. Uh, six watts, there is a threat hit there. Uh, Vapor produced, as you see, plenty of it. The heat really it does depend on everything other than the atomizer in here. Uh, 
the heat you're going to get from the vapor comes from the wattage you're running it at uh, or voltage uh, the liquid you put in whether it's you know, things like a menthol you're not going to kick off a lot of heat uh, but I mean marks out of 10 because of a few niggles eight really though not much more I could say on it uh, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review and see you again